Okay, for today's video, we are going to go over a lot um, I recently picked up. This was the lot that I mentioned at the end of the um, Dinosaur Park Formation lot that I got on eBay. That lot featured the Gorgosaurus and um, Vagoceratops. Um, and this was one, I said for sure that this figure was in this lot, and this is the Safari LTD Ineosaurus. So, this is one of the two figures I got, or two different figures I got. Um, but... This, the title of this video is like probably something along the lines of Rare Retired Safari LTD Dinosaur Figure Lock. But this is the the way easier to get of the two figures that will be in this video. So, um, I'm just going to kind of explain how this whole situation occurred. How I was able to get this figure and two other awesome figures that you'll see at the end. Um, so, let's just get right into it. So, first I was looking for the Safari LTD Ineosaurus. It was a figure I really liked. And like I mentioned in the last video, um, um, that dinosaur park formation lot video. Um, I will put a link to that in the description. I mentioned that um, I really wanted to get a um, some more ceratopsians or some more diversity in my ceratopsian collection. So I added that bag of ceratops, and now adding Ineosaurus, I do have some better diversity in my collection because most of my collections mainly triceratops. So I really wanted to add some more diversity since the. Um, and this was a recently retired figure, so I thought I might be able to get it for a decent price. Um, and it was a kind of a surprise retire or discontinue, um, to me at least. It came out in 2017 and it seemed to be pretty popular to me, um, while it was out, but I believe they quit producing it around 2020 and I'm really not sure why the reason is. Um, but considering it retired in 2020, I thought it might, I might be able to find it on a reasonable price on some website since the resale on eBay was not crazy yet. I think it's reselling on eBay for around 30-ish dollars. It might have went up or down since then. But that's what I think it was around at the time I was looking for this figure. Um, and I went through a few websites looking for the figure because I know this figure wasn't in stock on Safari's website. But I knew that like maybe some places that bought Safari figures might still have it in stock. So I started looking through a few websites. Um, some had really bad reviews or the figure was just not in stock on their website. Then I found the website that I ended up ordering it from. First they had the figure in stock. So they had the Ineos source in stock. And then they had good reviews from what I could tell. Uh, and then I found another Safari LTD, Safari LTD dinosaur on their website that I really wanted that is reselling for a ridiculously high price on eBay right now, but they had it in stock for retail. Um, and that figure is the Safari LTD Gryposaurus or Griposaurus. Um, I'm not for sure on the pronunciation. I'll probably say Griposaurus, but I'm not for sure. Um, but yeah, this figure is... Um, is a crazy expensive figure on eBay right now. It's reselling for like well over $100 right now. Um, I think the cheapest listing is like 140 ish on eBay, and I got this figure for retail. This figure was like under $15 for me. So, And I, I'll be honest, um, when I saw this figure was on the website for retail price, I started to doubt that the website was legit because they had the graphic source for retail when it currently is reselling for crazy on eBay. Um, also, I had doubts whenever there was a price difference on one of my devices for this figure. Um, but those doubts were countered with some logic, starting with the price. Um, like I said, it was a different price on one of my devices, and it was because there are Canadian-based websites. So uh, whenever I went to order the figure, I forgot to check that I'm in the U.S. So Canadian prices are more expensive than U.S. prices. So that's why the price difference was there. But whenever I figured that out, it made a ton of sense. And then also, um, with the other issue about just the figure in general, um, this figure I found out was discontinued as recently as 2019. So, you know, there was potential that some people would still have it in stock because it's only really been discontinued for three years. Um, and if you look up Safari LTD Ineosaurus like I did originally, you could it would lead you to this website. But if you look up Safari LTD Gryposaurus, um, it didn't, like, it would not bring me to this website. Like, it, it, I scrolled pretty much to the end of where you could scroll, at least on my phone, but whenever I looked up Safari LTD Ineosaurus, it led me to the website that I ordered this figure from. Also, the shipping was like $20 for me from Canada to the U.S., and if I didn't mention this, the Gryposaurus was like under $15, and the Ineosaurus was under $10. So I decided to take the risk. I ordered one of the Ineosaurus and two of the Gryposaurus. So, um pretty awesome so for the whole lot for me it was 
right around $50-ish. And considering this Gryposaurus is selling for almost triple that alone on eBay, to get two of the figure and the Ineasaurus for almost a third of what it's reselling for is crazy. I do think it's too high of a resale, though, but that's what it is reselling for if you couldn't find this website. Um, and luckily, I got a shipping email, which was a really good sign. Um, and I went back on their website later and saw the Inea source was now sold out. So the Inea source on this website is no longer in stock. So if you wanted to get the Inea source, I think you can still find it on some other websites. Uh, but the website I'm going to say at the end of this video, you can no longer get it from. But they do currently still have the Gryposaurus in stock. But like I said, before this order even came to me, the Inea source was sold out. So I must have got the last or one of the last Inea source they had in stock. Uh, and once I saw it was sold out, it actually made me more optimistic the, the website was legit because, you know, you wouldn't just have a bunch of sold out listings and stuff if you weren't actually selling it. Uh, and at the end of this video, I'll put in some eBay listings of the Gryposaurus. There's only two up, and you'll see how expensive it is right now. And like I said, here's what I actually got. Uh, I got the two Gryposaurus and the Ineasaurus. Uh, each of these figures will get individual reviews in the future. Uh, the Gryposaurus will probably get the most recent idea, or will get the most recent, or the soonest upcoming review, even though I do need to review those other Safari figures that I ordered um, with the Albertosaurus and the um, the Gorgosaurus figure and the um, Vagaceratops, but I want to make a review on that figure so that way I can have another video that has the link to this figure so that way people can get this figure because it's an awesome figure and it's super hard to get so I definitely want some more people to be able to get it. Um, I do want to say this though, if you do happen to see this video and know that it's reselling for crazy, I hope you don't buy like all the ones I have in stock just to resell them. Because for one, the price is going to go down obviously if you put like 10 up. I don't know how many they have in stock. They might only have one left in stock or something. And they might be sold out by the time this video comes up. But if they do have a bunch still in stock, I don't want you to buy all of them just to resell them. Because I mean, I only bought two. And I considered reselling one, but I think I am going to keep them both actually. Um, but I would love for you all to be able to add this figure to your collection for retail. But... I don't want one person to go buy them all and resell them all, but I guess I can't really control that, but I do want to put in my two cents about it. Um, and I just have to say, the last three videos for me have been awesome as far as what I've added to the collection. I've added three like personal Safari Grails, um, and my Grails, I just mean harder to find Safari figures for good prices. For um, I mean, obviously that Carnegie Alberta source, which I'd wanted for a while, the Safari Gorgosaurus, and now the Gryposaurus, two of it, in fact. Uh, and now I do want to go over a few little informational things about these three animals, well, the two different animals. Um, Ineasaurus is a ceratopsian in the Centrosaurian group. Uh, and yeah, I'm just shocked they retired this figure as soon as they did. It was only like in production for three years, and it's an awesome, awesome figure. Um, the I will say one thing, the condition of these figures was not as perfect as I might would have hoped. I mean, they all still have the tags, so they're all new. And I know that the chipping just kind of does occur, but the Ineasaurus does have um, a white spot right on the horn. But, you know, that's actually not, like, crazy, because, you know, if a dinosaur that might have fought with its horn, like Ineasaurus probably would have, um, might would have just scuffed its horn just in a fight. Um, but then both the Gryposaurus both have some white spots on them. This one has a white spot right like here on the back of the head and there's a few other just little paint chips on certain places in the body um and then this one has a pretty noticeable white spot right on the side of the face so i think that this was definitely the better condition of the two but um yeah oh and like i said the idea source is a um, a centrosaurian ceratops seeing uh and it lived in, I know the U.S., I think it was, I know it was for sure found in Montana and maybe only in Montana. And I know some of the things that came along with it were, um, the paleontologist, I believe, that discovered it was like mainly looking for Mysora and didn't identify, or maybe that was Vagus, I can't remember. Um, but I know Ineasaurus is a really cool ceratopsian that did live in the U.S. And Gryposaurus, I know one of the species of, I, I'm not for sure a, a ton about Gryposaurus, honestly, but I know one of the species, I don't know if it has multiple species in its genus, but in the genus, at least one species of Gryposaurus did live in the, um, actually now I can't remember, it was either the Dinosaur Park Formation, so it would have lived with Gorgosaurus, I think it was the Dinosaur Park Formation, where it would have lived with Gorgosaurus and Displetosaurus, or it lived in the 
um, Horseshoe Canyon formation with Alberta source, but I'm pretty sure it's the Dinosaur Park formation, but pretty much the deal with Gryposaurus, it's a large hadrosaur that was closely related to Ineosaurus, and it had one of these big nose bumps, kind of similar to like Mudavarosaurus, but yeah, that's, I don't want to spend too much on this video about individually talking about these figures, because they are each going to have individual figure reviews in the future. One thing I will say that I'm so glad these figures have is they have the rubber band tags, so I can just take these off of the figure, and that will, I don't really plan on reselling these figures, but you know, if I did decide to in the future, I could just always put the rubber band back on, so, wow, I can't believe I was able to get these two figures for retail, and at the end of this video, um, and well, there is one thing though, obviously with it being eBay listings, the second I upload this video, somebody could list one for $5, but... At the time of recording this video, there's only two listed, and they're both over $100. Uh, and I'll try to insert that picture, but if I don't, you can look for yourself. But at the time of recording this video, that's the case. And also, at the time of recording this video, this Gryposaurus is still in stock. And I will say, if you think you'll ever want this figure, I would recommend getting it now. Because I don't think you're ever going to be able to find it for a better price. You will have to pay high shipping if you don't live in um, the U.S. I mean, if you don't live in Canada. And you will have to pay like $20 shipping if you do live in the U.S. But I would definitely recommend trying to get this figure if you don't already. And the website is like, um, I believe the website is called Game and Hobby Zone. It's a, a Canadian website, so that's kind of funny because the two Gryposaurus are a genus that did live in Canada. Um, so it is kind of funny that I ordered it from a place that is Canada. And yes, the website's called Game and Hobby Zone. Um, and like I said, they seem pretty legit. Mine actually came shipped very well um, in the box. There's a ton of these packing peanuts. Um, so they actually did ship them really well. Honestly, maybe better than Safari shipped the figures I ordered from Safari. Um, but yeah, the website's called Gaming Hobby Zone, and I will put a link to the Gryposaurus. And I would definitely recommend picking this figure up if you haven't. Um, and I, I and while I'm looking at the Gaming Hobby Zone website, I'm going to make sure I'm right about Gryposaurus, and I will say the species thing that I was looking at. Uh, Gryposaurus, yes, is a, is a, okay, Gryposaurus does have a couple species, but at least one of the species did live in the dinosaur park formation, like I thought. So yeah, I think we're going to close this on the, close it out for this video, but yeah, so glad to add these three figures to my collection. Um, especially that Gryposaurus. I mean, and I'm really glad that add the Ineosaurus. I really wanted an Ineosaurus for my collection just because it adds some nice diversity, especially in the Centrosaurians. I don't have a ton of Centrosaurian um, Ceratopsians in my collection other than Pachyrhinosaurus and some Styracosaurus. I need to get more Styracosaurus. I really like Styracosaurus, but don't have any really good figures of Styracosaurus. And Safari did just recently come out with a really good one, so I might pick that one up. But yeah, I don't want this video to be any longer than it has to be, but... Super glad to finally add these figures to my collection, especially this Gryposaurus, because I really wanted to add it to my collection, but I did not want to pay the ridiculous resale prices on eBay. But I will put a link to this figure in the description, and if I forget, I don't think I will, but if I do, the website is called Game and Hobby Zone, and they're a, can a Canadian-based website, so that's it. Uh, but yeah, thank you all so much for watching, and I do want to make a big emphasis on this. Try to get this Gryposaurus if you think you'll ever want it in your collection, because I don't think you'll ever be able to find it for a better price than this. And also about this figure, um, please don't just buy them all just to resell. I know you it's anybody's money and they can do whatever, but I would rather more people be able to add this figure to their collection than just one person just makes a ton of money off of them. But you can do whatever, but I would rather people do that. But I know I can't really control that. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. I'm out, and these figures will get individual reviews. Um, the video list I need, the videos I need to make just off the list of figures I've recently acquired that need reviews has grown a lot, but these figures will all get individual figure reviews in the future, and I honestly don't know when that'll be, but they will get individual figure reviews. So thank you all so much for watching, and I'm out. Um, if you are, if you saw the two pictures at the end, that was the two eBay listings for the Gryposaurus at the time of recording this video, and that's what's been up for a while now, um, at least since the time I've been looking for that figure, but, um, also at the end, 
the picture of the price of the gripe source, that's the Canadian price. So if you're actually in the U.S., the price will be cheaper, but you'll probably have to pay more for shipping. So I just wanted to put that as a little heads up here at the end. But yeah, thank you all so much for watching. And like I said, though, if you want to get this Gryposaurus, this is the time to get it. Uh, because I don't think you'll ever be able to find it any cheaper. I don't think that'll ever happen.